What's up you guys, this is Vinsanity, and today we're gonna to be talking about sore muscles. Obviously, if you guys are training hard, you are gonna be really sore, and especially if you train a lot, you're gonna be even more sore. So the obvious question is, what can you do about your sore muscles so that you could get back to training? Now the first thing I would say, if you could afford it, is go get a really good massage. I mean, there's a lot of massage places out there, a lot of them are terrible, but once you find a really good one, they know how to get rid of your knots and they know how to break up scar tissue and put you through a bunch of pain so that you'll feel better the next day or maybe a couple days later. But anyways, not all of us can afford to get massages, at least frequently. So, one thing that I have found that works very good is this little rolly thing. This is a foam roller and there's a lot of different options out there from cheap ones to more expensive ones. This one, I believe I got it for pretty cheap, but if you go buy it, it'll be pretty expensive because it's a little bit more harder foam, um, which really kind of helps get out those knots and get to those points. Sometimes the really soft ones just don't really work so great on me, so I prefer the hard ones, all right? So we are gonna go roll out my body. So today we're going to focus on rolling out my legs. Now there's a lot of different techniques for using these rollers. This is just one that kind of simulates if someone were to take their elbow and just rub it like crazy across your legs. And just fair warning, it'll be fairly painful. So if you guys can, we want to actually use our opposite leg as a little bit of leverage in case it's a little bit too hard and also use your hands to also use as leverage. All right, so we're gonna start basically going up and down our entire leg, starting with the butt, going back and forth. And basically you just wanna kinda of slowly move it up and down. And when you find a point that hurts, like so, you just wanna kinda of go back and forth on that and just kinda of work out that knot. Then as you guys go, you're gonna work your way down your hamstring. And again, for me, the hamstring is usually a little bit more painful um, as I go down. And I'm just gonna kind of work my way all the way down. And again, same thing, if I find a point that hurts, it's gonna stay there. And then go down to my calf. Same thing, going all the way back. And again, the calf is one of the most painful, painful areas. So if you guys ever gotten a massage by somebody that knows what they're doing, you will know that your calf is probably the last place you want anyone to touch you. Go all the way down. Again, you're gonna find points that hurt more than others. And again, just kind of follow those and you know get those knots out. Work your way all the way back up. And then once you get back to your butt, we're just gonna basically just change our angle. So I'm just gonna lean just a little bit this way. Just a very slight change and I'm gonna work my way down, all right? So same thing, I'm gonna start on my upper butt and I'm gonna work down. And as I do this, again, I'm gonna find a couple points that are very, very painful, such as this one. Like I mentioned earlier, if you have any serious issues, you should probably go see a professional because you and your foam roller are not necessarily an expert. So if there's something that hurts really, really bad that you find, you might wanna go get it checked out a little bit closer. All right, so again, work your way down. Again, if you find knots, just kind of go, go on it a little bit longer. Going down to your calves, and this is where it starts to get really hard. And if you like more pressure, just lift up your leg and roll it using your hands. Going all the way down. And going all the way back up. And then from here, we're gonna actually add just a slight more change. We're gonna turn, put my foot over, and I'm gonna roll my side. If you guys have ever gotten an elbow stabbed into your side, it hurts really bad. And this is maybe a minor version of that, so um, this is actually a really nice feeling. We're gonna go all the way down towards our quadriceps. And quadriceps are also another painful area um, a lot of times, especially from breaking, your quadriceps get pretty, pretty tight. So this is an area, again, you wanna use your foot to just kinda control the amount of pressure. If you put full on pressure, it will hurt pretty bad. So take your time, use your leg to control the pressure, and then go down a little bit further. Again, if you need more pressure, just lift up that leg. If you don't need the pressure, keep it down here. All right, go all the way down, working it out, going back to here, 
to the side of your quadricep and down. So once you guys get to here, we're just gonna turn just a little bit more and I just like to put my leg a little bit further, all right? Now we're going a little bit more towards the top of the quadricep, going up. Again, there's a lot of painfulness in these areas. So take your time, use this leg to help relieve a little bit of the pressure, going down. And if you find a knot, like I have, just roll it out, try to stay there until you start to feel a little bit of the relief. Go down, again, be careful of your knee, don't roll over your knee. That will probably cause a little bit more pain. And going all the way down. And back up, again, be careful of your knee. And going down. And here we are now at the top of the quadricep where you're laying. This is where you do have to be very careful so you don't roll over anything that could hurt really bad. All right, so control it. Again, going up. And down. And control it with your leg again. Going all the way down from the top. Rolling it out a couple times. A good number is three. But if it hurts, go more. And then going back. And here's where it gets a little bit awkward. So I'm actually gonna turn so you guys can see a little better. So I was here, and now I'm gonna turn just a little bit so I'm getting like the top edge of my inner thigh, like right here. Not necessarily right on, but just on the edge. So here, and again, you gotta be careful so you don't roll over anything that hurts really bad. And you go up, to your knee and back down. Up towards your knee and back down. And this area for breaking, especially if you're doing a lot of power moves, will hurt a lot. So this is an area, although awkward, is probably very necessary for you guys to roll. Going down and again, jump over that knee and just get a little bit here on the side of your calf. All right, and then going back up again. Be very cautious of your knee, because that would be tragic. All right, and from here, we're gonna actually face this way, and now it's gonna be full on digging into my groin area. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna use my hand to kind of control the roll, and go back. And this area, again, could be extremely painful, especially if you guys are have done like a lot of power moves that day or the day before, all right? Rolling out. Again, skip the knee, and roll in here. All right, and going back. All the way to here, all right? And the very last one, which is not quite here, it's in between, it's just like the bottom edge right here. Just to get the final roll, we go here. I usually do it with my leg out like this. If you're not flexible enough, you could kind of position your leg like this, All right? But it's really up to you. So here, going in, and going all the way out to here, and back. And again, do this like three times, going out, and back, and then go to the calf. And this is actually where the calf might be actually the most painful because you're rolling over that big part right here. So it's here, and we roll it, and it does hurt a whole lot, but I'll uh, work through it, and you go here. And again, back to here, all the way here. Once you guys complete that, you wanna do this on both legs. Again, if your legs are pretty sore, this will really, really kinda help relieve a little bit of that soreness and work out some of the knots and just, you know, help you feel a little bit more ready for the next time you guys train. Again, like I mentioned, if you guys have the money and you have the opportunity to go see a professional, please go do, because that will make the world of a difference. But knowing that a lot of b-boys and b-girls don't necessarily come from money, this is a nice option for you guys too. All right, thank you guys for watching and for more dance tutorials, knowledge, and hip hop, make sure you guys subscribe to Insane TV. Peace.